In this video today, we're gonna see an AI web agent that's gonna give your browser superpowers, agentic superpowers. Your browser will plan, think, uh, and actually execute the different tasks that you assign it. You don't need to uh, download like another browser. It will work in your current browser. It's a Chrome extension. Before we jump into the demo, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this. So this is really amazing because I didn't want to download another browser to have agentic capabilities, but it sits in the browser that I use every single day. It's a Chrome extension and then it does different type of tasks for me. And I'll show you some examples. We'll look at some use cases, how I use it. Um, so the agent is called web agent is called retriever here is the the url retriever uh, dot ai uh, i'll make sure there's a link below you can check that out as well now the first thing the first step you want to do is uh, click on install extension and then it's going to open the google chrome store uh, you can look at some of these features uh, but then click on uh, install and then it will install it in your chrome browser and this is what you can see kind of like the orange R. That's the Chrome extension. Now, let's jump into the juicy stuff. Some of the really, really cool use cases, some of the things that I do and they save me a bunch of time. Um, and I, actually for every use case, I'll explain it to you how we used to do it manually and then how Retriever helps us now. So to bring that um, extension actually before you uh, uh, do any task the first thing you want to do is this is what the extension is going to look like when you open it click here in the settings and then this is where you'll see your invitation code uh, you can add your API uh, keys for Gemini and others inside here but here's the cool thing with one click if you click here create and configure API uh, AI studio API key Actually, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it in this video, but it will get the API key from your Google AI Studio and configure it and install it, and then you can use Retriever for free. You don't have to pay anything. So that's kind of like the, the first thing I want to tell you. So step one, install on Google Chrome. Step number two, configure. And then step number three, create. I would suggest you do it anyways. Create and configure the AI Studio because that's actually more than enough for a lot of people. Um, to be able to use this. All right, now let's jump into some juicy use cases. So one of the things I like to do is, so this is the producthunt.com here, uh, different uh, AI products. So we used to extract these manually because I review, we probably know a lot of different AI tools, agents um, in my content. So instead of doing it manually, look, uh, I'm just gonna say extract the top five products and then give me name, description, and website URL, right? Um, make sure, so click here on the action tab, so it's active. So what's really cool is it can see all the tabs that I have open in my browser, in the active window, and also there are other windows that I've minimized, right? So you can click, uh, and then also it can see and act on multiple different tabs as well. So for now, I'm just gonna uh, work on, let's say, product hunt tab. Here, this is the prompt I use, extract the top five products, and hit go. And you'll see, I'm not, so this is not me. The agent the retriever, the web agent took over, and it kind of goes to scroll through all the page to see, make sure it's seeing everything. And now it's thinking and processing. And you can see on the top too, uh, let me see, it kind of created like an agentic tab. So that's what the, you can see. You can go, I can go um, work on other tabs uh, while it's doing its work. Uh, but um, you can leave the tabs and then it will keep on doing the work too. Actually, let me resize the window so we can, you can always like see the agentic tabs on the top. There you go. Oh, actually it's done. So it created a Google Sheet for me, which is right here. Um, if I click here, you can see it read the top five products, description, the URL, exactly what I wanted. And I did five for the, per for the sake of this demo, but we could do 10, 20, 50, 100, right? It's, it's up to you. And let's see, make sure it got the right. So trickle, commutify, um, Quen. Let's see, let's go back here. Trickle, commutify, Quen. So yeah, it read the top five exactly how 
and instead of me copy pasting or using um, a, a resource, a VA, a retrievers web agent did it in like literally 10 seconds. Uh, so once this is done, the task is done, you can click here at the bottom and see all the details. You can see how many credits it consumed, all the steps, um, the sheet it created, it should show up here too. So everything that your task history stays here, you can review it. How cool is that? All right, use case number two. Now, this is another like a really, really interesting use case. I'm gonna close this. All right, so let's say I'm looking at this uh, threads account and here is a thread you can see it has first post and then comment one, two, three, four. I wanna extract this. And instead of doing copy pasting manually, watch what um, Retriever can do for me. So let's bring on Retriever and open a new chat. So it has new context. And I wanna make sure it's, it has the, the right active uh, tab here, action tab. And now very simply, I'm just gonna say, copy all the threads into a Google Doc. from this page, right? And hit go. And then you'll notice, again, it started scrolling. And then now it's gonna start, you can, on the top, you can see the agentic tab, it's processing. Uh, if you wanna give any, any other instructions, corrections, guidance, you can, you can do that here. But, look at this, this is beautiful. You can see all the steps. I can actually scroll and see all the steps that it's going through. This is so neat. And again, I'm not doing, this is not me scrolling. This is not me copy pasting. My hands are here. And look at that. It is done, right? And now we can repurpose this content. We can use it on different places. Um, but instead of copy pasting, spending hours and hours, we can use Retriever to extract that content from this web page, from this structured data. All right, the other, the, let's jump into use case number three, which is actually one of my really like a um, favorite one. So here's the page on Reddit. And this is about what are some of the AI agents that help you run your business faster, cheaper, and better. But this has tons and tons of data, comments. Um, if I wanna know what are all the AI agents uh, that are being discussed by the post creator, uh, also different comments, it could take me hours, right? So what I'm gonna do is just use this simple command. So find all the agents mentioned here and what they are being used for. Right, because that's what I wanna do instead of just scrolling through this. And I, if I'm doing this manually, I may miss something anyways, right? Again, my tab is selected and then uh, go, and it's gonna start doing its magic. Processing, and here uh, you can see the, the steps, different st steps it's taking, different tools it's using. By the way, there's a, in the prompt box, you can use, also use at sign and use specific tools. I'll, I'll show you after this process is done. But then it's gonna extract everything and looks like it's working on the document already. Ooh, wow. So I got the website, the source website, the use case, and also the actual agent. And there are 28 agents being discussed on that one page and if i was to do it manually number one it would probably take me an hour two hours to do it and number two i may miss something right uh this is unbelievable i'm actually gonna uh, stop this because i want to show you the next one i'm gonna stop the the task all right use case number i believe four or five i have already forgot but this is also really interesting uh and i'll quickly uh, I've already done this, so I'm gonna just walk you through this. So I have the YC Combinators uh, page open, and here are different founders. Let's see, I have these filters. But let's see, I wanna find the LinkedIn URL of every single founder. So I can do a simple command, say find, 
LinkedIn profile for each founder, right? And oh, by the way, the uh, one thing I mentioned earlier, so if you do add symbol, here are different uh, tools. Crawl web pages, create graph, custom tools. Uh, if you want to create custom tools, we'll talk about that because there are so many capabilities that Retriever has for me to cover in like one video. So I may do a follow-up video uh, with some more awesome features and um, some of the other hacks, the hidden things you can do with the Retriever. But I ran this simple prompt, uh, find me the LinkedIn profile. And it, again, it did the same process, thinking, processing, executing. And then I was able to, let me close this. I was able to get the company, uh, founder name, and the exact LinkedIn profile. So if you're in B2B sales, prospecting, um, this can help you get leads faster without you doing anything. Your AI web agent will do everything for you. Retriever.ai, I'm gonna have a link below. And actually also I have my, I'll have my referral code below too. If you use that, I believe you'd get like 500 credits, which can take you for a long time um, to play with it, to test it out. But Retriever.ai, amazing web agent, it has given my Google Chrome agentic superpowers. Any questions, let me know before you go like and share so more people can see this and I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.